According to the ZocDoc survey, 64% of seniors said they've avoided bringing up health issues with their doctor, because they didn't think the problem was that serious or worth discussing. None of us want to perform a hypochondriac soliloquy at the doctor's office, but it's not the time for false modesty either. Remember the last time you sat in a waiting room, doing what the room was for, for an hour? That's likely because people before you were late for their appointments, backing up the whole queue. Reinforcing this bit of common sense is a doctor who posted on Reddit, every outpatient office has time set aside for sick visits, and time blocked off for pre-scheduled visits, wrote underscore pyramid head. People will often call in when the office opens and ask for a sick visit to address their sore throat, whatever. More times than I can count, the person will say, I can't come in until 4.30, usually the last slot of the day. Which is fine, but when they then don't show up, I'm annoyed. Especially if the last pre-scheduled visit was as 3.15, and I waited around for an hour, only to have someone not show up. Don't make a scene at the front desk about wait times or rent about a charge mandated by your insurance. Complaining to the front office staff about your copay is pointless. They have no control over that, wrote redditor underscore pyramid head underscore. It's near the bottom of the list of last things any of us want to do. Spend time on the phone with the health insurance company. But if you're having a procedure, need medical devices, or are prescribed new medication, it's better to call ahead and check in than be caught with a bill, and have to spend more time on the phone, after the fact. If you need a colonoscopy, the procedure might be covered, but not a particular facility or anesthesiologist, this is a frequent complaint voiced by doctors and other medical professionals. If you're seeing a new doctor who might not have access to your records, he or she won't mind at all if you bring along a cheat sheet with your meds listed. It could prevent drug interactions and big problems down the line. Always take medication as prescribed. Failure to do so is one of the top complaints medical professionals voice on social media. On Reddit, a doctor going by the nickname Astral Resolve explained their frustration with a common scenario. I stopped taking the antibiotics cause I started to feel better. Now I'm sick again and the antibiotics aren't as effective. Every freaking time. We instruct, you disregard, bugs get stronger and more resistant. Redditor Walristude, a doctor, said non-compliance based on online research was his top gripe, straight-up refusal to follow medical advice or to agree to taking one pill a day known to dramatically improve symptoms. All because this mommy blog said the best thing is apple cider vinegar or because WebMD suggested cold showers. Your doctor doesn't mind questions based on your research, just don't present them with something you read online as fact that applies to your particular case. While I don't yet bring anyone into my doctor's appointments, I do accompany both my mother and mother-in-law to theirs, says Grufferman. They are 75 and 83, respectively, and a second set of ears and eyes is always a good thing, especially when the doctor is discussing procedures, medicine and follow-up recommendations. In this case, I believe physicians welcome my presence, as long as I don't completely take over. I always take notes and ask the doctor to repeat or review something if I don't understand. This is a huge no-go. Sometimes patients will ask me to go back and code the visit differently, says Levy Gant. I will not change the test codes or the visit codes to accommodate someone, since doing so is fraud and not an appropriate or legal thing for me to do. Sorry. I will, however, go to bat for a patient, and I have, if I think a patient absolutely needs a particular test done, and the insurance company denies it.